During and in the immediate aftermath of flooding, people faced many health concerns due to exposure to bacteria and dirty water. Uh, there are several hazards underfoot that you can't see that cause lower extremity injuries, um, as well as skin diseases and rashes that occur frequently. Exposure to many hazardous chemicals and elements that exist naturally in the environment. Many upper respiratory illnesses, a lack of chronic medication because they evacuated and didn't plan to be away from home as long as they are. Food safety is important because it's a cascading series of events where someone eats food from a refrigerator that lost power for more than four hours and that food causes them to get sick. And then them getting sick in an environment where they do not have access to a lot of water causes them to become dehydrated and then they need acute medical care. We are experiencing power outages in Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Power outages present several medical concerns, most importantly for individuals who are at home or have home care and are on durable medical equipment that is electricity dependent. We've got a lot of people on oxygen that don't have power running out of oxygen and our shelter doesn't have any medical right now. And a lot of the people that were being pulled out of the high water last night, people with medical needs. Local health systems will face many challenges. There's been a lot of wonderful work that's gone on under the leadership of the Department of Health and Human Services Assistant Secretary for Preparedness and Response to ensure that regional healthcare systems operate in a collaborative environment and are able to manage the medical facilities in a way that ensures the highest quality access to medical care. Inevitably, each disaster brings new challenges, and those challenges may include the evacuation of a medical facility the inundation of a medical facility, or just general damage to a healthcare facility. One of the resources that International Medical Corps provides is the ability to bring in volunteer doctors, nurses, paramedics, and other medical professionals to help offset and allow the, the locally impacted healthcare providers some time to rebuild their lives and ensure that the, their patient population uh, continues to receive high-quality medical care.